Item SCP-293 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-293 is to be kept at all times within a reinforced metallic cell with bars for visibility. Any nourishment should be placed within a chute and then dropped into the cell to avoid physical contact. Do not allow exposed flesh to come into direct contact with SCP-293. Failure to comply with this will result in termination after 72 hours. It is expressly forbidden for any member of the Foundation to warden or interact with SCP-293 if they have any young daughters, as this SCP seems to mimic the behavior of a child and has been known to breach the psychological defenses of these parents, and whom then begin to aid in its escape. They have even been known to attack other Foundation members in an attempt to assist the creature. Description SCP-293 is a floating white jellyfish-like creature. There does not appear to be a central brain of any kind, but instead it reacts to its environment. It can, however, sense nearby life forms. How it does this is unknown, but it is suspected that it is to do with the emotional output of the beings around it. It moves seemingly without purpose and floats freely in defiance of gravity. If left unprompted, it will just float randomly until it encounters something or someone to consume. This is where SCP-293 will latch on to the victim with its tentacles until it is firmly placed on the head of the creature and wrapped in its body. If it does take on a human host, fatality is certain as it injects a deadly neurotoxin that causes a complete loss of inhibitions into the subject. The subject is then forced to act on its behalf as a puppet before being completely consumed by the poison it secretes, and eventually they will succumb to it as their body dissolves. The body of any victim is then readily absorbed into SCP-293, leaving little in terms of human debris. It is theorized that the dissolved remains of the subject become a sand-like substance, reforged later into glass. SCP-293 uses this to multiply. For those who have witnessed this absorption, it is said that it will discard what little remains there are and then move on. There appears to be no state of satisfaction, and it will keep on consuming indefinitely. This is why it is of the utmost importance that SCP-293 is captured whenever sighted to prevent a potentially catastrophic infestation. Notes. While being highly dangerous, capture is relatively easy if contact is avoided. Its body shatters like glass if shot by a high-impact projectile, however the shards that are left behind remain highly toxic and cannot be left discarded. It will regenerate all lost limbs after about 24 hours. We have codenamed this creature Parasite. Parasite.